back to episode two of Blue Devil News. It is now week three of school. I hope you all are getting settled in and uh, all your classes are going well. Sudden, how are your classes? Pretty good. I got first block office workers. That's pretty fun. Second block applied math. Third block right in here for Blue Devil News and then football. So I'm feeling pretty good, pretty excited for this school year. What about you, Brody? I mean, I got U.S. government, civics. Um, after that, I head over to Earth and Space Science, which is pretty easy. And then I'm in this lovely class and then I have basketball. So my day is pretty easy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What'd you do this weekend? Uh, Friday, I went to the fair. It's all right. I mean, same old. Good little fair, Tennessee State Fair. Check it out if you haven't. Mm -hmm. uh, the rides, there's, there's a good amount. A lot of people, though. A lot, a lot of, people, of people, especially at night. Mm -hmm. But food's pretty good, you know. Saturday. You oh, what? what? What kind of food did you get? I got walking taco. It's like $9. That's insane. That's Expensive. Insane. It's like, it's 15 to get in, 30 to ride. So remember that. Bring your money. Mm -hmm. But yeah, and then uh, Saturday, I chilled, worked at my grandparents' house. Got some yard work done. Then I watched UFC yeah. 305. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Me too. I did too. Do you like it? Yeah. I, 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 if I would have bet, I would have bet on Drake's duplicy, so I would have won money, but I didn't bet. But I had a feeling. So what did you do over the weekend? Uh, Friday, we had a jamboree at Laverne, uh, played in that. And then Saturday, I chilled, did, got a little work done, also watched USC 305. And then Sunday, you know, I'm a church guy, so we were there. I went to church too Sunday, mm -hmm. then I got a little workout in after. Mm -hmm. Damn. I worked out on Saturday and Sunday as well. There you go. Got to. Where do you work out at? Uh, well, I either work out at my house or Sports Village. I see you in there sometimes. Big Sports Village Big guy. Big Hit a little back and by, then I went on a two-mile run. First time I've done that forever. I was gassed. Mm. College football is starting soon, so looking forward to that. I'm a big Purdue guy. I don't know how we're looking this year. Second year head coach, so still kind of growing that and coming into our own, but we'll see. Purdue, Zach mm -hmm. Eady. Zach Eady, He's big a dog. Maple. Uh huh. They're at uh, Memphis with the Grizzlies now, but anyway, we're worried about football right now. Hey, the Big O is looking nice. Mm -hmm. The Ducks mm -hmm. coming this year. Big Ten. Let's do it. Also, guys, you know, first football game is uh, this week. Hope you're all looking forward to that. If you're a freshman and you're like wondering if you should go or not, you should. It's fun. And, and the student section theme is jersey. So yeah. come in your favorite jersey and if, be there. <laughs> if you need a jersey, let me know. I might have an extra one for you. Uh, we want to get all the students involved. So mm -hmm. be there and be loud. And now with all that being said, we're about to head down to Leslie Perez with this week's weather. Hey, Chess, I'm Leslie, your weather girl, and I'm back with another week of weather. It feels really nice out today. The sun's not out, so it's just feeling nice and windy and chilly. This week, we're supposed to have super nice weather, so I think if y'all want to head over to that fair for your last chance, I definitely think y'all should go and enjoy the rides and enjoy the foods while you can, because it's going to feel super nice out. On Friday, we have our first football game against Antioch, and it's going to be super nice outside, so I definitely think y'all should go ahead and support your team and wish them a great season this year. And I think the panda has an opinion on the weather. What do you think? You feels good up there? She says it feels great up there, so I think we should head back inside and check the weather forecast for the week. We're back inside to share the forecast for the rest of the week. Today is a low of 57 and a high of 84, so it's going to feel really good. I think y'all should go outside and enjoy that weather while you can before it gets too cold. Friday is our first home football game against Antioch, and at kickoff it's going to be 82 degrees and then drop down to the 70s throughout the night, so it's going to be a beautiful night. I better see y'all at that student section and supporting your Blue Devils. Saturday is the last day of the fair, so if you haven't been able to enjoy the rides or the fair food, definitely head on over there. The low is a 63 and a high of 90, so make sure you stay hydrated because it's going to be hot. Sunday there's a low of 64 and a high of 92. Um, that's it for this week's weather. I'll see y'all next week. Hey LHS, back by popular demand, we're bringing Blue Devil Battle of Wits. This week's special guest is Nadia Thomas. Hi guys. Animal sleeps the most. Oh, easy. Oh. <coughs> we'll be fancy. I'm switching. Yeah. You flip it around. Oh. It is a koala. Okay, I was low key gonna say that. I almost said sloth. I'm not gonna lie. Say that. I almost said sloth. It's all good. Do you know why they sleep so much? Cause they eat eucalyptus and it makes them high and they fall asleep. No way. Yep. Okay. True fact. You learn something new every day. Okay. Wait. Okay. Where is it illegal to frown at cows? Like what? Like country? It's a country. Yeah, it's a country. Oh. 
Probably because uh, they're in. <laughs> Wait. How do you even. I don't know my countries. I feel like Gianna actually knows this. Because <laughs> she's vegan. I, I don't know my countries. <laughs> Canada. So, what you think in North Korea? the USA. Damn. What? What? We can't fry out cows. I fry out them all the time. Yeah, not Jimmy. Every day. What? Why? I don't know. What did the cows ever do to you? No, whenever they're flies, when they bring flies home. <laughs> I don't know. Why would it be the United States? So, wait, y'all didn't get it right either. Right? No, I put China. What is the most common letter in the English language? Like used? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. A letter? Yes, a letter. You know, like part of the alphabet? Like All 26 of them. Yeah. D? Yeah. H-I-J. J-K? Q-R-S. The correct answer is E. No, no, yeah, no, 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 no. What? You gotta think how many what? how many words have like okay, four e's also in it. Also, like no. vowels, like vowels are used more. Than like I mean, vowels. they put a. That's a vowel. So is e. A e i o u and sometimes y. Why before e except okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what is the first element on the periodic table? Oh, I know this. Oh. Wait. Ooh, I think I just Mr. took chemistry. Mr. Licklider is going to be so Wait. mad that I don't know this. It's got, Ooh. it's, no. Yes. I yeah. got it. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. no. And I, oh. I, I almost it. put the second. Nah, I got Ooh. it, buddy. Wait. I almost put the second. Okay. Oh, oh you're, you're right. Don't peep on my oh, answer. Right. That's what I put, too. The correct answer is hydrogen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All three. So still That's you, Mr. Licklider. Mr. Curry's Thank ten times better. Mr. Curry. Don't know. I didn't even have a chemistry. Outdoor Adventure Club. Join it. I am. I am. I'm in the remind. Nice. <laughs> okay. Um, what is the Statue of Liberty was gifted to the United States by which country? Easy money. Easy money. Easy. Easy money. Which oh, country? I'm sorry, Mr. Burger. Easy money. Ooh. Ooh. Statue of Liberty. Yes. Ooh. Chat already took the. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, okay. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Flip them around. Oh, this is bad. Oh. It, the correct answer is France. I already took dub, though. Ain't no way. Yeah. Okay. I'll see it. That's on period. That's it's on? on? Bro, yeah, that's on what? period. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in to the Blue Devil Battle of Wits. Thank you for coming out, Nadia, and playing. Sorry I had to take dub, but it's all I do. <laughs> oh, thank you guys for having me. It was a blast. Of course. I'm winning. I'm going to win. I, I win I win mentally. Back I to the sports segment of Blue Devil News. This is episode two now. We have a bunch of sports coming up. Uh, big game Friday night, huh? Indeed. We can play Antioch at home. Home opener. First game of the season. It's a 615 Preps game of the week. The student section theme is jersey, so make sure you show up. Be loud. We need y'all support. And they'll also be uh, recognizing the 1974 team for all that they accomplished. Anything else going on? Nah, but that's awesome that the football game is uh, tomorrow. Theme is jersey. If you don't have a jersey, you know, I got you. But um, I've been looking forward to football season since last year when we lost to Gallatin in the playoffs. I mean, didn't make it to the past two weeks. Nope. It's all right, though. This year I got a good feeling, but mm -hmm. I'm really excited and hope to see all of you there at the game. And then also volleyball plays this Saturday in the Aces for Ambria tournament. It's a good cause, so make sure you can show up if you can. Mm -hmm. Girls soccer will also play tonight at Cookville, so show up and support them. Lebanon golf, they got a big win against Greenbrier Monday, so that's good. But they play today at 4 o'clock versus Green Hill and MJCA at Five Oaks. Mm -hmm. Be there and show up. That's all for sports this week. We'll see you next How many years have you been a coach for soccer? Uh, five years here at Lebanon High School and six in total. Okay, that's really cool. How many years have you coached the girls? Uh, this is my first season with the girls team. Okay. How many teams have you coached? Uh, I've coached the boys team, the girls team now, and the uh, football kickers. Okay. Uh, how have you enjoyed coaching the girls team so far? Uh, I've enjoyed it a lot. They're a good group of girls, all respectful, play hard, uh, do the right thing, and I'm looking forward to really get the season, keep rolling on. Heck yeah. Um, how who are some standout players? Uh, standout players, uh, Reagan Denton, the sophomore goalie, Karina Kumar, a senior defender, Layla Tate, a senior defender, Mia McDermott, a junior center mid, Marley Dye, junior center mid, and Sydney Cornish up top, she's a sophomore, and then uh, Graylin Sharmahorn, a freshman, she's got good leadership abilities. 
That's awesome. What are some of the most important games that students should come see? Uh, district games, I think it would be uh, good to get a lot of student support. Uh, most of our games are at 6 p.m. at home. Uh, district games we play, Cookful, um, Wilson Central, that would be a good one to get some support at. I know for the boys, and they typically have a good boy student section, and our student section lacks. Get some more support out there. It's free for students to come uh, attend the game, so uh, come support. All righty. Said it here best. How have you enjoyed Coach Bennett as your new head coach? Um, I've enjoyed Coach Bennett because he definitely uses a lot of humor whenever he's coaching us and um, he's really like upbeat and we do different things every day and it's always like a new experience oh, at every practice. I love that. What is the biggest game this season? Um, Probably our game against Wilson Central. We're okay. always like head to head with them and it's always a crazy game, a lot of injuries and stuff and so they're probably our biggest competitor this season. Okay, cool. What's your expectations for this year? Um, I'm hoping that we're just gonna improve as a team and um, connect really well and for our freshmen, our new freshmen to gain some experience so that in the next few years we can improve our, this team. <laughs> All right, well you heard it here. Burr. Welcome to Finish the Lyric. We have another fun segment on Blue Devil News. Our special guest, Isaiah Mariah, he is the Lebanon High School quarterback for this year. So Jackson's gonna put the song and we have to finish the uh, lyric, obviously, the name of the game. Who's going first? Uh, Sutton, you wanna go first? I'll, I'll take that. Oh, I need a. All right, first song. Moving my hips like yeah. That's that was easy that's for it, you. That's it. Right. Yes, and and I'm moving it carefully. <laughs> Drop down. No. And no. It's no. Okay. <laughs> Let's start living dangerously. I thought it was you're talking to me. Talk Let's to me, baby. Okay. Okay. I'm in the morning. Go crazy, crazy. I didn't get that right. Yeah, I didn't get the. I didn't get that part right. But it's. I, I just failed. By the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Let's lose our minds and go. I'm on fire. No, that's not it. That is not yeah, it right now. I'm just on then. Fire. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm on fire. <laughs> just bad. Cause I got. That sunshine in, in my pocket. pocket. I got, got that good soul in my feet. feet. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. When you it, uh -huh. so don't stop. Uh -huh. Woo! Yeah, that's good. That was good. That's the that only reason I know that's trolls. <laughs> then I won. Yeah, obviously it's you not won. Necessarily a contest, but this is but like I mean, it, everything's a contest. And nice it, young man. Four songs. <laughs> I had two. Whoa! I had two. Three. I had it was at least two. at least it three. Was two oh, so thank you guys for tuning into this segment. Looks like this week I'm just on fire and I'm winning everything. So thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you Isaiah for being a part of it, of and we'll catch you next week. Hey y'all, I'm Kylan, and we're back with quote of the week. This week's quote is from Shannon Martin, which says. The secret to happiness is a good sense of humor and a bad memory. With the bad memory part, I mean, just kind of forgetting what has happened in the past, you know, stepping into a new year without, you know, the thoughts of all of the negative that had happened before, just stepping into the new light. It's amazing. It's what everyone should be doing, you know? Um, and happiness is a good sense of humor. Making light of a bad situation is going to absolutely save you. When you think of everything in a dim light, your life becomes dim. But when you think about things in a brighter light, your life becomes better than what you could have ever imagined it to be before. Thank you. What's up, Blue Devil News? I'm Sutton. And this is Brody. And today, we're, we're interviewing, interviewing people, people at Club, Club Rush. Rush. Let's go. What's up, Blue Devil News? Today, we're here at Club Rush. I'm Sutton, and this is... Devin Vamer. Francis. Sean Strain. And uh, what club do you guys represent? We are representing Chess Club. And what uh, do you, would you like people to know about it, anything? What does it entail? Well, Chess Club is for beginners and experienced players, and we have a meeting every Thursday in the library after school. Thank you. What's up, Blue Devil News? I'm Brody, and this is... Shanoa. Valerie. 
Okay, so they are part of the dance club team. So what can you expect if you're joining this club? Um, we meet every Tuesday and Friday till 6 o'clock, and you don't have to have any previous experience, and you get to stay on the sidelines for football games. Hey, that sounds pretty good if you ask me, so make sure y'all check them out. We're back here at Club Rush. I'm Sutton, and we're here with the Men's Volleyball Club, and I'm here with one of the coaches, Miss Odom. So what can people expect if they're looking to join? So um, we take all skill, skill levels for men's volleyball. Uh, we've had some people that play club. We've had some that have never played at all. Uh, we last year played 15 games, had about 14 players on our team. Um, this year we're hoping to have a varsity and a JV team. Uh, we are trying to have our tryouts in the month of November, um, but we will be hosting open gyms until then. And if you want to come to our open gyms to try it out, see if you like it, sign up for our Remind. Thank you. If y'all are looking to join men's volleyball, you know who to look for. It. Okay, I'm here with the famous uh, Officer Tennis Ball. So he's going to tell us a little bit about the uh, YPC club. So YPC, it stands for the Youth Prevention Coalition. Uh, it's the juvenile division of Drug Free Wilco. Uh, we tackle things like uh, youth substance abuse through education and community service. Uh, we're always taking on new people. We'd love to have you out. Thank you, sir. Next up, we have the Swim Club. I'm Sutton, and I'm here with Tate Reynolds, Carlos Rios. And uh, just give some information for everybody watching about the Swim Club and what they can look forward to and expect. Uh, it's really fun. we got a good community here, and we're going to win state this year. We don't have tryouts either, so if you want to just come and swim and see if you like it or not, you can just do it. If you enjoy swimming, make sure to check out the swim team. Okay, next up we have the Creative Riding Club. So I'm here with... Eva Ford. Tell me a little bit about your club. So the Creative Writing Club is just a place where students who like to write their own stories can write anything in the fantasy genre. They can write poetry. They can write romance. Um, I actually have a book right here that I managed to publish because I am a creative writer and it is going to turn into a career of mine. So whoever wants to make creative writing a part of their career or just something that they want to get into for fun, they can join the Creative Writing Club. That's awesome. Thank you so much. All right, next club we have is Project 7, which started last year. So uh, I'm here with Oscar. He's going to tell us a little bit about his club. It's a student-led Bible study we meet in the bank. Uh, we don't know when we're having meetings yet, but you can follow P 7 on Instagram. Hey, if you love Jesus, please get involved with this club. All right, next up we got FBLA, and I'm here with... Eden Rigsby. Ellie Shanks. And uh, what's some things people can expect when they sign up for FBLA? So um, we're actually the officers of FBLA. I'm the president and she's the treasurer. Secretary. Secretary. Well, and FBLA stands for Future Business Leaders of America. And we go to state and nationals, which nationals is different every year. And state is in Chattanooga. And we make presentations. We take tests. And all of them are in a bunch of different topics. And you get to pick which one you want to do. And if you place at state, then you get to go to nationals. Is there anything you want to add? Um, we also have the Princess Party in November that helps raise a bunch of money, so state is really cheap compared to other clubs. And, yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's, like, my favorite thing ever, so everybody should join. All right, well, thank you, guys. And if you want to join FBLA, you know who to talk to. Yeah. All right, up next we have Outdoor Adventure Club. I'm here with Brian. So uh, what do you do during this club? Uh, we jump off of bridges. We bungee jump. Uh, we go skydiving. Like, we ride bikes off the motorcycles. And then, oh, and we burn forests. See, if that's if that's me signing up for a club, this is the club I would choose. Anything else? Uh, we also wrestle grizzly bears. That's about it, though. Adventure Club! <laughs> okay, today I'm here with... Kara Carr. Brody Condit. Okay, tell me a little bit about your club. Um, we are representing youth and government and Model UN um, at our... Um, are things you um, you write a bill and you like make laws for Tennessee state legislator and then you can also be a lobbyist or you can be in the governor's cabinet and then for model UN you do international international affairs or you can be in secretariat ICJ or um, security council hey you heard it here first first get involved with the club all right next club we have is culinary so I'm here with Nicole <laughs> Val so tell me a little bit about culinary club all right, Culinary Club is basically where we travel. Um, we go to Pro Start and we win. Um, we do competitions. It's really fun. We get to travel a lot. Um, you get out of school a lot, and yeah. 
Okay, if you like cooking, please join the Culinary Club. What's up, Blue Dumb News? It's Sutton, and I'm back here at Club Rush with? Uh, with Boosie. And uh, what clubs did you sign up for? Uh, I signed up for the Spanish Club. Spanish Club? You know any Spanish? Uh, yeah, I know some Spanish. Hit me with something. Por hermano, por favor. Por favor. Okay, I have three guests with me. Callie, Neely, Jenna. Is there any clubs that you guys are interested in or you signed up for? FBLA and FCA. FBLA. Yeah, I'm joining the Outdoor Adventure Club. I'm joining Spanish Club. I'm joining Culinary. I'm joining everything. I heard that Outdoor Adventure Club is the best one, but uh, that's really good. Do y'all have anything else? Um, Yeah, those are just the two that I'm planning on joining. I don't have anything. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> thank you. What's up, guys? I'm back here at Club Rush, and I'm here with... Gianni Zeta. And did you join any clubs? Yes, yeah, Spanish. Via Guatemala. So today I'm here with our principal, Dr. Walters. Is there any clubs that you uh, are in particular <laughs> favorite or uh, anything like that? I'm in a club today. Uh, they're all great. You know, I can't, can't show favoritism. I am excited about the new Outdoor Adventure Club. I'll give a little shout out to them. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. They all look cool. Looks like we got a lot of interested people. Good luck to everybody. How's the school year going for you so far? You know, it's good. It's going. What are we in? Week two. So it's been pretty low maintenance. Everybody's we got a little work to do with our freshman class, but uh, they'll, they'll figure it out. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. What's up, Blue Devil News? I'm Sutton. I'm here at Club Rush, and I'm here with Kenneth. And uh, you signed up for any clubs? Uh, just FCA. FCA? That's what's up. You love Jesus? Yes, sir. Love to hear it. Thank you. Welcome back, Blue Devil News. We are here with your star host, Brody Reasonover. What are we here to talk about today? Club Rush. All righty. What's going on at Club Rush today? So we have awesome events here at Club Rush. You know, we got tons of different clubs, many for each and every one of you to join. I mean, look, if we take a look around, look at all the students that are around here. It is absolutely just packed out here. You know, it's a great time to be out here. Has there been any clubs you've looked at, you know, that are pretty interesting you think people might like? You know, FCA, I love Jesus. And there's also a new uh, club over there, Project 7, that started uh, last year. It's like a uh, student-led Bible study, so those two. Okay, okay. That's what we like to see. We like to see very student-oriented clubs. And, like, as you can tell, like, students are very involved. And that's what we love to see. Uh, you have anything else to say to the people? What's your name? Uh, I am Levi Parkerson. Oh. Yeah, you heard it here. Levi Parkerson. Thank hey. you so much. So I'm here with this uh, random photographer I've been seeing around Club Rush. Uh, what's your name? Courtney. So what is your job? Like, are you a part of anything, or why do you have that camera? Um, I'm the historian for student council, so like, I have to take pictures of all the events and post them on social media. Okay, that's good. Thank you. Hey y'all, I'm Conlin and I'm here with Sophie and Case. Alright y'all, so why exactly should somebody join your club? Because it helps build your relationship with Christ and it gives you a really great group of friends. Alright, now why did you join? Uh, I joined because it's just, I love, I'm a Christian and I love hanging out with other Christians and talking about Christ. Alright, perfect, I love that for y'all. Now is there anything else that y'all should tell somebody that is coming into your club for the first time? Uh, don't be shy. I mean, everybody's welcome in. It's a great yeah. group. Alrighty, y'all. Well, thank you. And that's a wrap for Club Rush. We'll catch y'all next week.